Hi everyone, how do you feel? Are you alright? In today's video we will discuss in the form of a smaller review 80 Touch Young alcohol markers. 80 colors is truly a huge number. Let's start by making swatches of all the colors. This time I went easy and made a color swatch template and printed it on thicker paper that I often use for alcohol markers. I will admit something. This is my second sheet of paper with swatches I am making for these markers. I had previously printed myself a pattern on paper designed for markers, but unfortunately I didn't think that this paper was slippery and all the ink kept smudging. I don't understand the phenomenon of marker paper at all or I just don't know how to use it. Everything spills out, the layers don't blend together and the markers leave ugly stains. Can someone explain to me how this paper is supposed to work? Until I find out how it works, I will not use this paper again. Some time ago, I asked on my Instagram my followers to send me references of their original characters. One of the followers who signed up was Dear Sleepy Lamy. She gave me her hashtag where I could find all her characters. I chose one of her characters Minty, a strawberry and mint chocolate chip ice cream girl. Lamy has a lot of beautiful characters and to be honest, it was hard for me to choose just one to draw. Attention! If you would like to participate in my next videos in the Draw of Your OCs series, fill out the form and send the references of your character that you would like me to draw. You can find the link to the form in the description below this video. I will choose one character to draw in the next video of this series. Remember that I only draw female human characters, but elf or cat ears and tails are fine. First, I made a sketch on the iPad and then transferred it to a sketchbook. It is a sketchbook called Art Creation from Talents. I love it. I've never had a sketchbook that I've enjoyed using as much as this one. For markers it's great. The only problem is that the markers bleed through to the other side of the page, but still I don't mind using it. I know, I know. I'm getting a little distracted. Let's finally get to those markers. One day my mother told me that she saw a stand at the market where a gentleman was just selling these markers. I asked her the price and I was shocked. The price for 80 pieces of alcohol markers is about $10. I know I have a huge amount of markers, but I couldn't resist, so I put them. This allows me to create this video and share my feelings with you. This price is one of the advantages of these markers. While making the first swatches, Ink spilled out several times when I was opening the marker cups. Although spilled is the wrong word, just a few drops splashed at the sheet of paper. When I was drawing Minty, I was careful not to stain anything. When I was carefully opening the cups of the markers, there was no problem. You can consider that this is in a way an advantage because you can see that the markers are filled with ink to the end and will not dry out quickly. The large number of colors is shocking. 
There are a lot of colors in skin tones. I always miss these colors, so I can't complain, I'm very satisfied. There are lighter and darker shades, the variety is huge. The colors are brilliantly saturated, there will also be a few pastel shades, which I usually use mostly for some small sketches in my sketchbook. However, for this drawing I needed darker and more saturated colors, not including the skin tones. I noticed that it was hard to color with these markers when comparing them to other chip replacements. The nib of the markers is very hard and I had the impression that it scrubbed a lot of the paper. Coloring with alcohol markers is a fairly quick and easy technique, but in this case it took me a very long time and I didn't get much pleasure out of it. Therefore, for the background I preferred to use a marker from another brand. I felt a huge difference, the background marker has a brush nib, so I was able to color it quickly. On top of that, this marker was easier to spread and didn't leave strange traces of coloring direction. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't also add colored pencils to this drawing. With them I can smooth out all the bumps, plenty colors and the markers are a great base. The cherry trees have already bloomed and spring can be felt in the air. I will honestly admit that I can't wait for summer. I am recording this voiceover even before visiting the dentist before having a tooth extracted. I hope that by the time you watch it, I am slowly recovering and I am already working on the next video for the channel. Wish me good health. As always for small details, I used gouaches. I painted the sprinkles with them and outlined the character. I love doing outlines, I felt that it gives a great effect and every drawing I do looks much better with it. I could never come across a good white gel pen, so I've preferred to use gouache for a while now. Although, recently my friend Avis brought me a gift and it was a white gel pen. My first impression was great, so I can't wait to test it on something bigger. In conclusion, for such a great price, it was worth buying these markers. They will be a great option for beginners. For more advanced artists, I recommend investing in some other art stuff. Honestly, my dream is to test Ohuhu alcohol markers. I hope to have the opportunity someday. I often come across videos of other artists who collaborate with the Ohuhu brand and I am very impressed by how beautiful the drawings made with these alcohol markers look. I would also like to thank you for more than 100 subscribers. There are really a lot of you already and I am extremely grateful that you support my artistic journey. Thanks to you, I feel that what I'm doing makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!